in this video, I'm gonna show you the best 12 fonts to use for your subtitles. And I'll also go into some extra tips for making your captions as clear and readable as possible. But first, let's quickly generate some subtitles for my example clip. And for this example, I'm gonna be using an online video editor called Veed, and I've left a link to that software down in the description below. On the Veed homepage, select upload your video, then upload a file. Then I'll select my video from my computer and hit open. And that has now been uploaded into the video editor. On the left hand side, select subtitles and then auto transcribe. Then choose the language you speak in the video from the drop down menu and then hit start. And after just a few seconds, you'll see that Veed has automatically transcribed my video into text over on the left hand side. Now I'm going to head over to styles at the top of the subtitles menu. And now I can start choosing from the fonts in this drop down menu. Or you can also use Veed to download your subtitles by going up to options and then down to download subtitles, select your preferred format hit download and you can now upload that to your preferred video editor in order to customize your text. So without any further ado, let's get into the best fonts to use for your subtitles. First up is Arial. The best fonts to choose for subtitles are simple and easy to read and that basically sums up this font. So it won't distract too much from the action going on in your video. Next is Helvetica. This one is very popular with graphic designers thanks to its versatility. It's used a lot in logo and web design and it can give your subtitles a very fresh and distinctive look. Next up is Roboto, released in 2011 for Google's Android interface. So this is a great modern looking option, perfect for videos aimed at mobile devices. Verdana is at number four. And the best thing about this font is that it's very clear, even at very small sizes. So again, this is a great option if you're creating content for mobile devices. And you might also recognize it as the font used by Ikea. Tahoma is a classic Microsoft font released in 1994 as the default font for most of its applications. It's another popular one for word processing, so it's gonna be very clear and not much of a distraction. The next option is Times, which was originally created as a newspaper font here in the UK which obviously makes it highly readable even from a distance. So much so that it's still a standard font on most computers. Number seven is Archivo. This one is also used a lot in printed design work, especially for headlines and highlights. Open Sans is a font that is often used in flat styled web design. Google have used it on many of their web pages and internet advertising. It's clear, readable and professional. And the last of these three fonts is Lato. The rounded letterings of this font give it a nice warm look. And once again, it's just very easy to read. Now, the first paid font in this list is Futura. Used as the official typeface for huge fashion brands like Dolce & Gabbana and Calvin Klein. And I think this gives a really nice retro look and it works particularly well in documentaries. Merriweather was designed to be pleasant to read on screen. Another option that is great for readability, even in very small sizes. And finally, we have Pluto Sans, a versatile font which works really well for lengthy blocks of text in small sizes and design work. Picking the right font is only half the work when it comes to creating subtitles. Using Veed, you can also change the color and you're gonna to want to pick something that has a good contrast against your backdrop. You can also add an outline or a background to your captions to improve visibility. And you can use Veed to click and drag your subtitles around the frame to wherever you want to put them. So that's my overview of the best subtitle fonts to use for your videos. If you like this video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys for the next one.